The history of how the Honda Motor Company got its start is fascinating. Honda was able to overcome and prosper despite numerous failures. Having its factory damaged by American bombers during World War II and then by an earthquake, a severe lack of resources in post-war Japan, and numerous other setbacks. Later, his business rose to become the eighth biggest automaker in the world and the largest automaker of motorcycles. Here are some important lessons in resilience that one of the greatest engineers and businessmen of the 20th century used to fuel his success. Continuous effort even in the face of adversity. Throughout his life, Soichiro Honda performed outstanding engineering and creative exploits with little knowledge and expertise. One of Honda's defining characteristics was his unwavering ambition and unceasing effort despite the conditions that helped him succeed. Honda, who has no formal schooling, left his small town at the age of 15 and relocated to Tokyo to work as an apprentice in a prestigious auto repair shop. Here he fell in love with racing and was allowed to fully develop his natural engineering skills. He established a successful auto and motorbike repair shop, but he felt compelled to go into manufacturing. He created a groundbreaking engine piston ring and produced 30,000 of them for Toyota, Japan's largest automaker. After spending endless hours in the workshop, however, almost the entire order was turned down because they fell short of Toyota's exacting engineering criteria. Unfazed, Honda enrolled in a technical college with the single objective of producing his groundbreaking piston ring. He spent two additional years studying manufacturing processes by visiting universities and steel-making businesses all around Japan after completing the course, but not the final exam. I don't give a damn about the diploma, Honda said. I want to know everything. He even once pawned his wife's jewelry to pay for his ambition. Honda's piston rings were eventually approved and put into production despite him being nearly bankrupt and recovering from injuries he incurred in a racing accident. Honda was able to increase production as Japan started to prepare for World War II and deliver over 40% of the piston rings to businesses like Toyota and Nakajima Aircraft. Utilize what you have Honda eventually secured contracts to produce his piston rings, but because of the war effort he was unable to find the materials needed to construct his factory. Honda persisted and found an alternative. After conducting endless tests, Honda created a novel method for producing concrete that made it possible to build the factory. However, his problems didn't end there. During the war, his plant was hit twice and was essentially destroyed. His plant needed steel to rebuild, but none was available because every trash was turned into armaments. Honda turned to the heavens to discover the steel he needed to rebuild. He was aware that after completing bombing sorties, US aircraft would discard their used fuel tanks. The tanks would drop from the planes as Honda and his employees watched from the ground, and then they would gather the tanks and utilize the steel to restore their factory. Little gifts from President Truman, he referred to them as. The majority of Honda's production capacity would be destroyed by the never-ending barrage of American planes, and an earthquake in 1945 utterly destroyed the factory. Honda sold Toyota the rights to its production methods as a result of Japan's surrender and the destruction of its industrial facilities. Attitude is essential. Honda is frequently noted for his extraordinary fortitude and upbeat outlook despite the circumstances. He deserves a lot of credit for this because of his unbridled desire to create and advance new things. He aspired to invent rather than just copy or imitate. After the war and the sale of his business, Honda used some of his winnings to purchase alcohol and then spent an entire year intoxicated, giving people his homemade whiskey. When he eventually came out of his year-long alcohol-fueled hiatus, he established the Honda Technology Research Institute and started experimenting with various concepts. Even though the majority of his ideas were duds, he persisted. Japan faced a severe gasoline scarcity as a result of the war, making travel throughout the nation nearly difficult. Most could only go by foot or bicycle. To make it easier for his wife to get to the market to shop, Honda tried putting a small old generator engine from a dismantled army radio into a bicycle. His pals immediately asked if they could purchase one when he modified the engine and built a mounting mechanism and started testing his new powered bicycle around the town. Although motorized bicycles were not a brand new concept, Honda was able to produce a cost-effective, dependable model that gained popularity right away. Honda's innovative spirit and unwavering commitment to producing high-quality products at fair prices helped the new business succeed despite the emergence and proliferation of competitors. Failure is necessary for success the Honda Motor Company would endure multiple disasters over the following 10 years that would nearly bankrupt the business, cause a lack of distribution, and cause production problems. Every time, Honda would recover and carry on with its production and quality innovations. 
The first Honda Super Cub left the production line in 1958, marking the success of Honda's efforts. The Super Cub was the result of skill in engineering, design, and production. Little has changed in the Super Cub design since it was first created, and more than 100 million have been made. It is regarded by many as the best motorcycle ever made. Soichiro Honda's fortitude enabled him to overcome the numerous challenges and hazards he encountered while creating the Honda Motor Company. His design philosophy and desire to lead the world matched his engineering brilliance. When Honda's first car was produced in 1963, he had realized his aim of starting his automaker. In the years to come, Honda Motor Company would grow internationally and become a leader in engineering innovation, consumer manufacturing, and racing. The tremendous legacy Choichiro left behind continues to have a lasting impact on the world, and Honda Motors is still a leader in the automotive industry.